Hello there, Internet. Mawai here, and I got another Legends of Runeterra interview for you guys today. And today we shall embrace self harm. Do not take this quote out of context, please, as we are going to showcase the motherfucking Scar Grounds in a deck which features both Braum and Vladimir. Two very underrepresented champions in Legends of Runeterra, especially Vladimir. And Scar Grounds may be the tool Vladimir needed to be finally viable. I've said this like. Every single time I've uploaded a Vladimir video, I'm very optimistic, in case you haven't w wondered. You know, I don't think this will end up being tier 1, but I do think this deck is uh, very strong and uh, more so than people would, would give it credit for. And it's also very fun to play, and I believe it does have a very decent matchup against all the Grand Plaza decks running around. Because we really do want to run into opposing mid-range decks as we try to outmuscle them through the likes of Braum and just our thick units in general. So, what is this deck? Well, it is a mid-range deck that we built around the Scar Grounds. Scar Grounds is a three-mana landmark that says when an ally survives damage, granted plus one power and tough. Emphasis on the grant, this is a permanent. Uh, boost including the tough keyword which goes a long way because one of the cool things about this build is what we're trying to do is we're trying to develop a relatively resilient board from turns one to four right uh, which is pretty doable considering our curve which is comprised of the likes of unscarred reaver ruthless raider with already which already has tough and overwhelm crimson disciple iron ballista which i am playing over the likes of crimson curator because of the overwhelm keyword since we do have the ability to uh skyrocket our power stats uh, naturally as we have a full set of vladimir and tarkas the tribalist to ping everything alongside a full set of death lotus as well so all these uh power boosts will allow us to deal a significant amount of, amount of damage with our overwhelm keyword as we have a honestly premier stat line for a three drop here with a, a four three and i just value i really value that overwhelm more than the potential card advantage that crimson curator can generate for us especially because it's a very uh specific type of card advantage that uh, sometimes gives you like a bunch of crimson aristocrats in a row and there's not as much as you can do with that so ultimately i've, I've found more success with the iron ballistas due to the aggressive nature of our deck we have a full set of braum braum with the likes of transfusion and our our ping effects is really neat. Naturally, there is a little bit of anti-synergy as us giving tough to Braum uh, can actually bite us in the ass as it will make it more difficult for us to level up Braum as Braum does need to receive damage to uh, progress a level up. So tough will prevent that damage. Even though uh, if I level up Braum every time I ping him with like one damage and even if he takes zero, I will generate a mighty Poro. Uh, the the progress of leveling him up will take more and that's something you got to acknowledge but ultimately it's definitely worth it because of the fact that every time Braum will get pinged or take damage we will be granting it plus one attack and the fact that we have regeneration alongside challenger makes Braum into a very very legit removal resource as we can just use it every turn to pick off something and also uh, try to take as much damage as possible without dying so we can get that leveled up Braum filling up our board with uh, Poros, Mighty Poros specifically that can just overwhelm the opponent literally as we have uh, like I mentioned prior full set of Tarkas and Vladimir sometimes I you know you debate you know which one is ultimately better v Vladimir or Tarkas what do you value more the thick health stat alongside the ability to deal damage to the opposing blockers as we attack or the ability to have a unit that regenerates itself uh, with a very solid uh, set of stats that also can potentially help us drain and uh, gain some health which can be really useful against uh you know not only against aggressive decks but also against control decks as we're able to deal extra damage alongside our attack the answer is why not just play both instead of going the ember maiden route and trying to incorporate the ember maiden alongside scar grounds to get nutty ongoing value because i don't think ember maiden is really good in this meta as there's a lot of very easy ways the opponent can deal with her as she is very frail as a value engine and uh it can lead to a very inconsistent deck so instead i uh take the approach of having a solid curve that can allow me to have a good or decent board presence up until turn five in which we drop the likes of Vladimir or Tark as a tribe list uh hopefully with scar grounds on the board and then we get to work ladies and gentlemen and on top of that as we curve 
uh, and we get more mana, we can drop the likes of Scar Mother Vrina, aka Angry Woman, the real Angry Woman, as Scar Mother Vrina will just go off with this deck. In conjunction with Scar Ground, she will get four power every time she receives damage, and if we attack with Scar Mother Vrina alongside Vladimir and Tarkaz, and then play something like a Death Lotus, the numbers are just going to skyrocket, and we will be very likely to be able to OTK our opponent, as we are running a one-off of Trifaring Assessor, because Scar Grounds allows us to set up these board states in which we can actually get some crazy card draw, but I don't want to draw multiple copies of this in the early game. Like, it's for those matches that drag out a little bit too much. I do like it as a one-off, and the same can be said for Basilisk Bloodseeker. In certain scenarios, especially alongside Scar Mother Vrina, but also with Scar Grounds in general, because we're granting... Uh, the unit tough after the first ping, the three following pings will re will deal no damage to our unit and we can use this to deal or remove an opposing blocker and also attack for a shitload of damage. And that is the deck list right there. We have uh, Transfusions, a one-off of Might, and a couple of Noxian Fervors for a little bit of interaction with the opponent and also the ability to go face and work for a level up on Braum as well. As like I mentioned prior, this deck is very proactive in the sense that it doesn't really, uh, like, like I mentioned, it doesn't interact much with the opponent. So we're focused on one thing. We want to build up the strongest board we can, set the scar grounds, and then just go for a ridiculous high value attack, right? That's why we're running a full set of both of these because it, it's that's one of the awesome things with scar grounds, right? Like after the first AoE ping, Everything will get tough, so from that point onwards, other pings from Vladimir, Tarkas, or Death Lotus will have no damage on our own board, and that's when we really tip the scale in our favor and uh, we get some nutty damage. So that's basically all I gotta say. I'm gonna let the game speak for themselves. I recorded a live session for you guys today, and I think it's pretty good quality, so uh, I, I have a feeling you guys will enjoy the matches, and if you do, you know, leave a like. It's free, and free is good, as I say in every single video, and I will stop talking. Enjoy the games. Hope you like the Braum Vladimir action. It's been a while. I, I always enjoy playing Vladimir, especially, you know, considering how, how much of an underdog he is as a champion. And uh, yeah, man, enjoy the games. Have a good one. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, right. McFries McBurger. I just realized I was about to, like, look at his champions, but I, like, my eyes went towards his name. McFries McBurger is our first opponent, ladies and gentlemen. He's playing Teemo with Ionia and Victor, so. I am most certainly intrigued. Now, one of the things about this deck is we want to find these Scar Grounds, right? Uh, we do want to mulligan relatively aggressively for that. But, um, something for sure is we don't want Crimson Awakener here because we do have Tarkaz. I'm gonna keep this hand, though. Because Death Lotus is a great way for us to deal with an early Teemo. And, uh, I like this curve. Nothing like the Great Outdoors! Voice crack. We can't stop turn one Teemo. But uh, what we can do Oh, well, I don't really want to trade with that, so it's gonna hold back. And Death Lotus. We have another Death Lotus here that can take down down. But this turn... I really want to develop Brom. Brom is on the job. Still like a in uniform. First we fight. Have you met my shield? I am playing into the MK1 from Victor. But I don't know if you main deck that card. To be fair, my opponent's playing Teemo with Ionia, so expect the unexpected, right? I still think I, I want to push for a Braum level up. This is a bit aggressive. But ultimately, if my opponent does not have anything to deal with it, yeah. Sometimes you gotta you gotta be ballsy, man. Like now we're we're four out of ten for level up, and we just drew into Scar Grounds. I repeat, we just drew into Scar Grounds, ladies and gentlemen. I do believe this turn is the turn to set up a Tarkas, though. <laughs> oh, McFries McBurger. You earned my respect, sir. So many tiny Back Holly Barky, all right. Honestly beats the bazillion Grand Plaza decks that I've been running into all day. <laughs> so I'll take it. We're gonna play Tarkas here, um, defensively. 
that thick 8 health stat. Like, Tarkas is just one huge ass unit, man. Like, that 8 is scary. I want to go Scar Grounds here. Before we attack. And now, because of that prior damage onto the Claws of the Dragon, we can, uh, basically, as long as Tarkas does not get removed, we will be able to reduce that as a blocker. Okay. Alright. I don't think I mind, honestly. I can use this to eliminate that. But then again, I, I kind of just want to go... To be fair, this is safer because this protects me from from Mystic Shot. No, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Because then from that point onwards, yeah, I, I'm always safe from Mystic Shot by doing this. I do like the idea of Lotus here, but I don't think it's ultimately necessary. You and Great tear your breath away. Wow. That's actually pretty sick. That's actually pretty sick. Not even gonna lie. Braum with the tough will be harder to level up now, but he's also harder to kill. And uh, we want to play Scar Mother Bruno here. Flee now or, or burn! Because, ladies and gentlemen, we're going in with the big guns. That's why I'm holding onto this Death Lotus in my hand, because uh, with Scar Mother Bruno is when things get wild. We won't be able to stop Teemo this time around. Been down in the sump, haven't you? I love the smell of mushrooms in the morning. Vladimir I'd never keep my guests waiting. and you know let's be gentlemen that's all hemomancers are about we got Vladimir and Tarkaz on the board interesting um, I'm not gonna play Ballista because I do have Death Lotus here and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be dragging like this absolutely parched. all right so right now yeah 11 attack which is just the beginning. We're gonna be dragging with Braum. We wanna be leveling up with Braum. So because we wanna be leveling up with Braum, we're gonna drag you here. I could go for more attack power here, like this would be plus four. But I th I'm gonna hold on to it. I cannot be broken. <laughs> nice. Look at that value, boy! Another fine! Another fine scar! Time to celebrate! Nice. 
Same, same amount of cards in hand, but look at our board compared to his. Oh, there it is. I was expecting this. Um, I'm gonna carry over this mana. Especially because I have Braum, so... I don't need to overcommit to the board anymore, even though we're not facing... I mean, Singular Will could be a thing, maybe? But not really, not really in this turn regardless. We are gonna develop uh, Tarkas here. Double Tarkas will allow us to just completely decimate our opponent with Angry Woman here, Brina. As we've got the way to remove the uh, thickest blocker. Yeah, these are still like, he hasn't been able to uh, get enough value. So many tinies. So many tinies. Let's get Tarkas in there and that's pretty much all we need. That's pretty sick though. That's pretty sick. I, I, I gotta try something like this. Like with Plaza Guardians, that's that's a really cool idea. That's a really fucking dope idea. Yeah. He does an attack, which makes sense. Uh, I am gonna develop you. That's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> like I had to play the one drop there because he was gonna he was gonna be huge. Was she gonna have like? Ten attack? No, right? Like if I if I ping twice, if I if I ping her twice, like the the Scar Maiden, like the one drop, I get her I get her four eight. I get her to eight attack because double of the Scar Ground and plus three from her own. Yeah, like one mana eight attack. That that's just that's insane. That's why like at first I was like, do I go Vladimir or do I go Tarkas? And then it turns out you, know, you just go both. Uh, instead of like the, because everybody's so crazy about the Ember Maiden, but I, I think this is a more consistent way of playing this card, so... Yeah, but what the hell do I know? Let's go for another one. Okay. I'm really happy that I'm not, like, I'm honestly happy and surprised that I'm not running into a bazillion Grand Plaza decks. Like, that was the meta this morning. All the time. With Fro, you're interesting. Uh, maybe this has some elusives with Battle Fury and stuff. Maybe it's like one of the few things that makes sense to me. Um, I'm gonna do a full mulligan here, though. I mean, I, I like the Death Lotus. I'm gonna keep the Death Lotus, but I'm gonna do a full mulligan for the uh, the Scar Grounds. I like the Death Lotus because it actually kills Zoe. I don't have that much interaction in this deck, so being able to answer Zoe and prevent her from leveling up is uh, pretty ideal. It's interesting to see that they, they're not they're not like playing more champions though. Is there, is there no other champion that's that's worth it for this? This land is ours. We're gonna play the ruthless raider. Offer him a trade there. One he he won't take. We're gonna go for this attack. Uh, we're drawing a few too many Vladimirs. We're drawing a few too many Vladimirs, but we are trying to. Blessed by snow and stars. I could play uh, Death Lotus here, but I'm gonna go Transfusion. way I get a little bit more damage on him and uh, I'm also able to deal I would like to try to go for Death Lotus again hello hello my darlings Gens are superb. Mm. bad for the teeth though okay Celestial power this 
This one's mine. I drew another, I drew, I just realized, I drew another transfusion. That's kind of wild. We got it, we got to go, Verna. Uh, Scar Mother, Verna, yeah, that's the name. <laughs> we got to go, Verna. Let's hope for no Equinox. Don't give him an Equinox. Don't Equinox me. I mean, if it wasn't Equinox, he would have pulled it, like, really quickly, I think. Uh, shit, shit's getting out of hand, without a doubt. We, we have to try... For Lisa. What could he have? What could he have? A hush? He could have a hush. Strength Yes! Got him, baby! I, I cannot be broken! There we go! Keeping our Vlad alive! And knock him out, baby! I, I think I still, now that I think about it, I was gonna level up Vlad, right? So I was gonna get that one health. No, but I, I, I needed, yeah, I needed to do that to keep him alive. Level up, baby! Nice! There we go! Good start to the video, man. Uh, really didn't showcase Scar Grounds there. But, you know, some pretty basic synergy that worked out really neatly. And Scar Mother Verena, like, a legit finisher there. But I, I really want to showcase Scar Grounds, though. Like, that's the card that I want to I wanna highlight today. So, let's go for a few more games. Okay, Tom Kent Soraka. Tom Kent is uh, naturally the biggest problem here. I don't like Trifaring Assessor. Um, I don't mind the Crimson Disciple. As we do need to find some ways to apply pressure, right? Scar Grounds, obviously a card that we want to see as well. We have a decent curve when it comes to units. If we draw Scar Grounds, it could be a, a good opener, especially with Death Lotus in the mix. It's just uh, it's just a matter of not getting destroyed by Tom Kench. Because as a deck, we do have a little interaction. In the War Mother's name. And uh, un Unscarred Reaver is a very nice target for Tom Kench if we don't get it proccing, right? Osu can sniff out any star anywhere. Well, we got the battle of the slow starters here. Let me show you what I can do. Where I go, all reavers, man. How did you get to know so much about stars, Soraka? Well, it's a long story. I understand. I'm going to go for the uh, Death Lotus now. Because uh, getting damage there is uh, pretty important. Even though we are, you know, starting off their their engine there. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. I learned my scars. We got a pass here. Set up the uh, Iron Ballista here. Really wish we had the Scar Grounds, but now we, we need to find a way to just power through, right? Like, we, we need to be relentless. Uh, I want to develop the Iron Ballista because I want to have access to both Transfusion and Noxian Fervor this turn. Up to it, Ely. We're 
Round up those stars. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. You are better than this. Another path, another problem. No, the stars! Osu, help! I gotta go with this. I, I do clear a good portion of his board. The problem is I I, I, I lose out on everything. Like I I I, I can play Nox and Fervor to finish off Soraka. But But that just won't cut it. I do get to clear their board and stop their Soraka from drawing. Cause if, if I don't kill Soraka there, I, I automatically lose the game. Stand back. Uh, I, I definitely I automatically lose the game just because uh, they 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 get drawing. And at this point, uh, the player who can Unreached. the player who can enable the most card draws wins. Oh, I can't wait. I got I gotta go double Crimson Disciple here. Yeah, th th this game is pretty much done. He's got his health back. And th this this Tom Kench really, really sucks for us. Because uh, this Tarkaz actually came in like at, a, at the perfect moment. But unfortunately, uh, Tom Kench will swallow it. We have to attack, we have to hope that he doesn't have, like, some way to heal Tom Kench. All he needs is an Astral Protection, and then this Tom Kench will, uh... Will give my opponent the win. Doesn't even need to block here, because I'm, I'm not representing enough damage. This Tom Kench just, I, I think, just kind of wins at this point, because uh, we're drawing one card per turn, so... We need to build up... We need to not play this, wait to, to see what we draw next turn, and we need to try to navigate around it. But it's just very, very unlikely at this point. It's too late now. I'm not happy with the open attack with an Iron Ballista, so I'm gonna pass here. Also, discourage him from attacking. This Broadback Protector also really stopped, uh, or denied, any of our hopes and dreams. GG! GG. Uh, we needed a, a Scar Grounds. Like, you're gonna hear me say that a lot with this deck. Uh, it's, it's very important to draw Scar Grounds, especially in a matchup like that. If we had Scar Grounds with that Deathlord, we could have pushed so much more damage. Uh, I, I do definitely believe we have the tools to beat that, beat down that deck. It's just the fact that Tom Kench, Tom Kench is really scary for this deck because we just don't have interaction, right? Like, we're, we're a very proactive deck that focuses on developing units and utilizing this landmark to just pump up our attack like really high and then, you know, combine that with Overwhelm and, uh, you know, multiple self-harm uh, synergy effects to just kind of like overpower the opponent. But if they have a 4-drop that just is constantly picking off one of our units, like they can take away our key units, you know, like Tarkaz and uh, bypass Tarkaz like supreme thickness by just having to deal with the power instead of the health with a removal like that. So, tough matchup, but I don't think it's, it's unwinnable. Uh, I do think we need to draw Scar Grounds, though, if we want to win it. Next round. Okay, here it is.
About time. It's time for our daily dose of Grand Plaza, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna drop one transfusion. I'm gonna keep everything else. We have a bit of a slow start here, but uh, Scar Grounds in our opener with Braum and a transfusion as well to navigate around removal is really neat. Uh, I'm not gonna develop the, uh, the Reaver though. At, at least not until I scout out a little bit. I want to make sure this Reaver is safe. I've got your back. In the War Mother's name. I'm going to use her to prevent a little bit of damage here. Honor guide me. I'm going to attack with the Reaver because I don't think he wants to make an exchange with that. And now that we see the Grand Plaza, we show them our Scar Grounds. Now we have the ability to play uh, Braum with uh, Transfusion backup. Surprise to not see uh, them develop the board, but I guess that makes sense. We have double Vladimir, but I still want to develop uh, Tarkas the Tribeless. Or me big, just because he's bigger, especially before we get to level up Vladimir. We have Transfusion back up. I'm gonna go with his attack, because I'm, I'm gonna get a Poro out of it anyways. I could have gone with the Transfusion like early on, but I, I wanna hold on to it. And thanks to this attack, this combination with Scar Grounds, we actually are able to utilize Braum to pick off a unit. And now, you know, they don't get to like go off with that. Show them what we're made of. Alright, that is certainly spooky. We're gonna hold back though, because they have to attack. And it. This transfusion could be huge. They can't attack with this, though. Sharp Sight can, can obviously be a thing, right? But besides that, like, single combat will just trade both. Oh! Or burn! My glory. We're obviously playing Vladimir here. We have the uh, the transfusion backup as well. Hello, my darlings, and we have double effect here with the scar grounds. This is what this is what this deck is in. This is why I envisioned. I can't even talk. I'm just really happy that I'm able to curve out like this because this is what this deck is all about. Let's move you here. Let's see what they're made of. This is fun, yes? I'm gonna use Brom like this. Let's make it double, baby. That's what I love about playing both of these. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this motherfucking power. It before judgment. <laughs> 
in, in a grand plaza deck. Oh my god, yeah, you can't block like that, son. You can't. You can't. You can't. It is overwhelming. God, is hot. <laughs> it's so good. You can't. You just can't live, dude. <laughs> it's too much. These attacks are crazy. Like, look at my stats, man. Look at my stats. <laughs> That's not gonna do it. There we go, baby. <laughs> Just another winter! Get knocked the fuck up! Woo! Let's watch that out love, why not? Yeah, bro. You're right. Get knocked the hell out, Grand Plaza. Mmm. Mmm. Landmark dominance. There we go. Back at it. Fucking beautiful. All right. I'm gonna have to call the uh, the video an end there. I am a little bit bad on time. I'm gonna make sure that I start today's stream. I gotta eat something. I'm like actually starving and dizzy, and my and my stomach is just like growling nonstop. So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to call that a video. I think we, we had a total of, like, four games, right? Unless I... I, I miscalled there. But uh, I think we got, we got some excellent matches, and uh, we really showcased this deck. Really, really fun build. Uh, I know everybody was obsessed with combining this with the Ember Maiden, but I feel like the Ember Maiden is not great in this meta. She's too frail. And uh, I just... I think the approach of, like, running both Vladimir and Tarkaz as a full set each is the way to go, because that's when this card just just gets really ridiculous. And I love the fact that, you know, the, the more of these, like... Uh, death lotus sort of effects that we have in this deck the more that we pack the better because once we get that tough with scar grounds every other like one ping damage will never actually damage us right so we are mitigating the one downside of this sort of strategy which is why this landmark uh, really does a lot for this and Vrena is just the powerhouse in this build man wish i could have showcased the basilisk bloodseeker a little bit but barring that Pretty happy with it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did for self-harm. <laughs> don't, don't, don't take that out of context. Love ya. Have a soul day. And I will stop talking. And I'll see you tomorrow. I, I have to eat some lunch. Like my brain is actually fried. Goodbye. <laughs>